If you're thinking of taking the GRE anytime soon, these are going to be the best study resources, number one, and the best mock tests to take. So I'll be detailing both of these in detail and I'll tell you which ones are the best ones to use if you're preparing for the test yourself, which by the way, you absolutely should. You do not need a coaching. You do not need to enroll in basically some, some place where you have to go every single day or even an online coaching is not required. Whatever I'm telling you over here is golden and can help you score even as good as a 340 on the GRE. It's not impossible and I've made this happen with this exact study material for a lot of students. So let's get started. In fact, my own scores were 329 on the GRE using these exact resources. So I'm gonna be telling you exactly how you can use them, right? Number one is the Manhattan five pound book for the GRE. You can take a look at this one. This is the newer edition, I would say, uh, you know, a couple years back, two, three years back, this was a different green colored book, but it's the same book. It has a reduced number of questions. That's what I don't like, but you know, version two is fine as well, to be very honest, because the questions over here, right? The questions over here are going to prepare you for the worst. That's number one. So it's a little bit harder, but at the same point in time, the GRE level is always raising as well, as you guys already know. Hence, it's always good to study a little bit harder for the test. I'm gonna show you what this book looks like from the inside, all right? And they have beautifully divided the whole syllabus because, you know, for the verbal part, of course, they have divided into the question types, such as text completion, sentence equivalence, reading comprehension, logical-based reading comprehension, right? And apart from that, after that, they start with the, of course, math, the quant. That's Arithmetic, algebra, inequalities, and absolute value. So you can see somewhere around, you can see 29 chapters over here, actually more, 30, actually around 30 chapters only with advanced quant included. After that, they have essays and verbal practice sections and math practice sections. The part that I love about this book is that it does not actually waste your time teaching the concepts. It will give you the questions directly and of course the explanation of these questions. Of course, now you're gonna ask me, how do we actually gain the concepts? Because concepts are very important and if you're lacking those, of course, questions will not do you any good. So this book is only for the questions, all right? But before that, of course, you will need to learn the concepts. For the concepts, I recommend one and only material that will help you change your scores massively. It will help you boost your scores massively. And that's the Magush material, the videos, and the questions and answers. Both of these are actually really, really well suited for the actual GRE test. They're of the same level, and of course the videos will help you understand exactly how to improve on the GRE, because whatever concepts you're missing out on, they will actually give you those exact concepts. Let me just show you quickly over here, if you open up this folder right here I have, all right? And this has basically, you know, of course, uh, the videos first off, and you will see that they have all these videos chapter-wise, same way, just as uh, in the book, right? Chapter-wise, all of these videos you have to take a look at first off and once you actually you know go through the video right and you can do it in twice the speed twice the speed i will recommend that you write down your own notes whatever thing you whatever concept you come across that you do not know write your own notes so that you can quickly come back to that see watching videos can be time taking you don't want to do that again and again when you revise okay that's why after you finish off the videos, you can actually move on to the questions and the questions will actually have for instance if you open up algebra and you open up a random question over here it will have of course, the question right over here, let me just show you. I'll just scroll it to the other screen. One moment. Here it is, the question, right? So you can actually take a look at that. Of course, then you have the answer in, in basically the explanation over here, right here, right? You can take a look at that to understand the answer. And what you can do is you can even open up the video next to it. This will actually explain the answer even in detail. So that's why I would say that, you know, video-based answers, those are very, very helpful when you actually go on to understand the concepts Let's say you are not able to understand it for most books, right? They will not give you video based answers. They will just write down the answer you have to understand by yourself. But a lot of times, text is not enough for a lot of applicants. They have to have, you know, in person or video based explanation. That's why I love the Magush material very, very much. It's definitely one of the most perfect materials. And I'll tell you how you can get this one. This is very well discounted as well. All right. The other books, for instance, the five pound book, all of this you can get for free. I'll tell you exactly how you can get that as well. You can go on to this website called Library Genesis, right? This is the URL. And then you type in the book that you need. For instance, you need the Manhattan. Let me just write it. GRE, right? You can search for that simple and you can find the you know, five pound book right over here, right? So this is the one, this is the older edition I was talking about. You can get this one or even the or la latest edition, you may find it over here if you actually search for it a little bit more. But yeah, all of these books are available over here for free and you can download them directly. Let's talk about the other resources that I recommend. The next one would be the Princeton 1014 GRE Practice Questions book. Again, a very important book, I would say. And again, if you see the cost, it is pretty darn high. 
don't need to worry everything will be available on this website you just have to search or right? you download the PDF you start working but yeah the, the book is really really good in terms of you know it has a lot of questions first off it's also a questions book it's not really an explanation book an explanation you already got from a bush right so you don't really need to worry about that bit but yeah for the uh, practice questions for the GRE right this is one of the best resources because it comes very close to the actual level of the GRE Notice that I'm not recommending the ETS material because they actually make the test look very, very easy while it is actually not that easy. So the official book, I would steer clear of it for the most part, unless you have a lot of time, of course. The next one I would say is the Kaplan Prep Plus 2022. Again, you can get this one for free as well using the same link. All right. But at the end of the day, this is also beautifully divided the chapters and it's the, it's the same thing, just like, you know, the university books. Most of it is questions, but they also have a little bit of explanation in there. But I would say stick to the questions. All right, if you need questions, this is one of the best, best books again. All right, now let me actually tell you where do you study from for the most part. And, you know, essentially for the quant section, you can do it from any of these books, of course, but do it in the order of priority that I've mentioned. Number one will be the Manhattan one. Number two will be the Magouche, etc., etc., right? But for the, for the verbal section, right, I'll give, you, uh, I'll give you a couple of tips. If you really want to boost your score, right, for the text completions and sentence equivalence, Follow these material. The Magush questions, some of the best. Kaplan and Princeton books that I mentioned, follow those, all right? But I would say for, for these, right, for these question types, for verbal, you can actually a little bit maybe skip the five pound book, all right? It's not mandatory because five pound book can be a little bit too heavy on those. You know, the questions can be a little bit harder than they actually would be on the GRE. Of course, that is not to say that you should not try it out. But if you are short on time, then follow these books that I've, I've mentioned over here. But for the reading comprehension, logical reasoning and AWA, if you want to improve on these, you should follow the five pound book hands down. You should not skip that. You should not even look at any other books because that is the one that will bring about the maximum improvement in your scores. Trust me, the explanation, it's, it's amazing. And the way they actually have put out the questions, it's very well the exact same level as that of the GRE for these question types, of course. Of course, for the AWA, the Manhattan Five Pound Book is actually one of the best because it will actually give you the question and essay, then they will review this, this essay as well. Other writers will review it so you'll know exactly, you know, what kind of mistakes are made, etc., etc. So it's very beautifully written down over there. And even, you know, they compare the concepts of what if we went against the motion or with the motion, all of that. Beautifully explained. I would not go with any other book over there. Let's actually talk about mock tests now. And remember, mock tests, are usually always always given out on online accounts they're not uh, books books will not do you justice when it comes to mock tests it has to be a timed online environment and you have to work through it over there so these material these are usually always paid but i'll tell you where you can get them at a very good discounted rate but yeah the, these will be paid remember invest in these but at the same point in time you will always get the higher return on investment you're looking for as long as you are practicing right so i'll talk to you about the mock tests that i love the the best ones and i actually have them out here on a link as well right and the first one i'll suggest and these are of course my scores etc etc you can take a look at them but yeah the the first ones i would recommend is the manhattan prep some of the very best tests right six tests actually and this is a little bit of a difficult test series people call it like that but i would say that it's very close to the actual gre whatever scores you get over here right they will be very close to the actual gre and you can actually compare that on my test and my actual score all right but yeah at the end of the day it's definitely one of the best but yeah it has a little bit of a drawback as well it's evaluation reports i don't love them so much they're great but there are certainly better ones out there which help you evaluate your tests better all right of course they have no other resources, only the mock test. That's it. They don't have any questions on the portal, etc., etc. But I would say that this is one of the number one tests. All right. The number two I'll talk about is the Kaplan five test for the GRE. And this also gives you 500 chapter wise questions in total. By uh, Basically, you have a question bank. So yeah, they, their analysis is excellent. They analyze the test very well. Then they have sec section wise practice tests available as well. So there's basically a lot that you get with this account when you buy the Kaplan one, right? There's of course a question bank and study resources available, right? But yeah, they are certainly a little bit easier than Manhattan, Manhattan's tests. So, you know, you don't really get so used to the actual test of the GRE, which is a little bit, you know, it can be a little bit harder, of course, right? Of course, sometimes they can be a little bit slow as well in opening due to the portal. The third one I'll talk about is the Princeton reviews five tests for the GRE again. And again, this is again, best for the analytics. The best thing I love about these is that they actually grade your analytical writing. So whatever you write, they will grade it. They have an automated software that in a couple of hours, it will give, give you a grade out of six. Like, okay, you got four, 4.5, 3.5, whatever you got, right? They will grade it for you. 
right? Their practice tests, again, are easier than Manhattan's, but yeah, they are, again, I would say one of the best resources for the mock tests. Now, one thing we have not mentioned over here, of course, is the mock tests that, you know, ETS provides you, the power prep ones, and I want to talk about those briefly. They are hands down the best mock tests. In terms of mock tests, ETS has the best ones, no doubt about that. Power prep, one and two, free mock tests, which you can get by just, you know, going ahead and signing up on the ETS website. But what is the drawback over there? The drawback is that these tests would not give you a review. And when you do not get a review, well, Worst comes to worst, you are not able to improve. And of course, when you take a mock test, the most important part, of course, is the review. You have to understand, okay, I'm making a mistake on geometry again and again, all the questions of geometry, I got maybe 80% of those incorrect. So I need to work on that. So when you actually evaluate your mock test, right, you learn a lot. And of course, if you're not able to evaluate it very well, right, and they're not really give, giving you a good analysis or evaluation or explanation, you can't really improve, right? So that's why I would say ETS ones are the best, but take them towards the very end because they would first off reflect your very accurate score of whatever you would get on the GRE. And secondly, you don't need a review in the last one or two days because you're really not thinking about that. You're thinking about just actually taking the test, right? So that's why I would recommend the ETS2 power prep test towards the very end of your preparation. Now, coming on to the portion where you can get some of this discounted material, the accounts, etc., etc., basically at a very low charge, you can actually take a look at the website over here. It's going to be called newstudymaterial.com and you can go over there and you can actually, you know, understand what is the pricing and what, what, ki what kind of material are available. But for the most part, right, the books that I mentioned, all of them can be available on this website for free. You can download the PDF and you can start working right off of it. Right, towards the end of your preparation, you may need to get one or two mock test accounts, which is completely fine. It is very well valid and you really don't need to worry about it so much because at the end of the day, you are taking the test, right? You're spending some amount over there. And if you have to spend maybe, you know, 10, 20% extra on that, that's okay as long as you get a good score. All right. So never be afraid of that because retaking the GRE test would actually cost you a lot more in most cases. All right. So that's the whole prep plan. You don't have to go to any coaching with the minimal expenses. You will be able to actually crack the GRE and get a really, really good score. I know people who have scored, you know, 310 with this exact material. And I know people who have scored 335 with this exact study material. The plan, of course, differs. And in case you'd like to understand more about how we can help you build a customized plan for you day by day on how you can actually improve your score, you can take a look at the GRE prep plan. Let me actually just search for it over here. GRE prep plan building where we'll, we'll build a you know day by day plan for you based on your current performance. All right, just in case you'd be interested, the link is going to be in the description and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye and take care for now. All the best for your test. Bye.